The use of narrative is often very helpful in commerce and in, in training managers to think about the important issues in their companies. But narratives can be limiting because they tend to come from one perspective, obviously, from one author, one set of authors, or one perspective of the company or, or of the organization. And so they give a point of view, which is important, but it may leave out a lot of other narratives that might play critical roles. Uh, let me give uh, an example. Uh, we all remember uh, the Challenger explosion. Uh, and the narrative there of the managers was a narrative of if you can't, f if we can't prove that the Challenger won't explode, uh, then we'll assume that it, that it won't. And the narrative of engineers always, if I can't prove either way, then I have a safety issue and I should not launch. And those two narratives came in, as you know, into clashing with each other. They did launch the Challenger because no one listened to the engineers. And of course, we know what happened. And the really sad part about that narrative is it's the same narrative was repeated in the Columbia. And so nobody paid any attention to the uh, safety violations of previous launches. And, and they just put that data aside because those launches hadn't exploded. And they ignored then the safety issues the engineers were bringing to the, to the table. So again, the, the Columbia was launched, and again, we had a second accident, uh, which is, of course, really tragic, more tragic to me than the, than the Challenger.